let's create the second function we need and function and this function is going to scale our array so let's call it scale array like that this function will take as an input our array that's an array of floats Input random array, or you can call it whatever you want actually. And it should have uh, an, an, another float. This is not an array, which is the target sum. This is the sum that we want our output array to be. Now let's uh, create a local variable as before. We want this to be the return array. Like that. We also want um, a new variable. It should not be an array. It should be the Let's call it the, the, the input sum, just the sum of the input values. And just to be sure, let's set this one to zero in the beginning. Because the first thing we will do is that we will loop through our input array and uh, see what the sum is. So let's do that. So for each loop, add. This is for each value in our array. We will loop through and sum it up. So to do that, we will um, set our input sum. Sorry, let's do that a bit better. This set the sum, and the sum should be the same as what the sum was before. So let's just get this sum and we should get the, the element here, the array element. And let's see now, this one, float plus float, the old sum plus the new one should be set as the input sum like this. So what this uh, loop actually just does is that it just loops through the array and adds to the input sum each time. So in the end we will get the, the current the, the current total. That's what this uh, does. And when we have the, the current total value, then we should uh, calculate the, the scaling value. So let's see here now. If we have the... Um, let's take the, the input sum. Let's get this value and divide. Float over float. So we should take our target sum, the target should be on top, sorry, like that. Like, like this. And let's make this as a new local variable. This is the scale factor, the factor that we will multiply the, the whole array with. And let's set this one. So when the when the loop has completed calculating the input sum, it will set the scale factor. This is just um, the the number that we will actually multiply the, the array with. So let's just uh, put a comment. Calc 
Print scale factor like that. Just compile and save it. What we'll do now is that we will make a new for each loop, and this time we will loop through the array again and make a new array. This time the return array. So from here, let's make a new one, a for each for each loop like that. The array we are going to loop through is the same one, our input array, like that. And in the body, we will uh, we will add um, we will add an array. Let's see here now. We make get our return array. Let's get this one and uh, use the function add. We add new elements to the array, and the elements that we are going to add to this array because the array is empty when we when we start off is of course the we have now selected the the input random array our input array. Let's go in here. So each element here it's a new element from our input array, and this time we are going to multiply it. Float times float, and the value we will multiply it with is our scale factor. So we'll scale our input array up or down so that the sum of it is the same as our target sum. So this should uh, do the trick. And the only thing we need to do now is when this is completed, well, let's just put a comment on it so it's easier to understand later. Scale the array. When this one is completed, we will just um, finish the function. So let's just create our output node, the scale array. It should be uh, an array of floats. And then, hmm. Scaled floats or something like that. Here we have our return node. Let's take it at the end here. So when this scaled array loop is completed, well, this and what we should return is our return array, like that. This is the same array that we are creating up here. Let's compile it and save it. Let's add this new function to our construction script and test it. So here now, it's our scale array. The input should be the output from the previous function, like that. We take the random numbers we create here and input in the scale array. And we will have a new print, my print array. We'll see what did it look like when it comes out of it? Like that. The only thing we need to decide now is the target sum. In our case, the target sum should be the same as the number of rocks long. So let's get this number and convert it to a float like this. Let's compile it, save it and make sure that it works. Let's clear the log here, just move this slightly. If we now, now look at the first ones, these are the first random numbers. And uh, well, it's not obvious here, but it seems like these first numbers are slightly too big. So it has now been scaled down in the second, first, second function. Let's just uh, put in a new, uh, Random stream. See if it's a bit more, more, a bit more obvious here. Yes, in this case, it's a bit more easy to see. We have 0 0.5, 0 0.9, and 0 0.5. This is obviously obvious, uh, a lot below three. So what happens is that these three numbers are, are now scaled up, so that the sum of them should be the same as uh, the number of rocks, which is three in our case.